This video will focus on adding fractions greater than one, so adding mixed numbers. But what we're gonna do first is review adding fractions less than one. You did this earlier in the year in fourth grade. So if we have a two fourths plus three fourths equals a sum of five fourths. So we're gonna use some models uh, to review this. So remember you have your numerator and your denominators. Your denominators are the size of the parts and your numerator are the number of parts. So first of all, I'd want to represent two fourths. And so I took one whole and I broke it into four parts and I shaded in two of those parts to represent the two fourths. Then I wanted to add on three fourths. So I added on, I shaded in this with orange, one fourth, two fourths. And then I realized I'm gonna have to draw another hole, break it into four parts to get my third uh, one fourth. So then when I add that together, that's one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths. I cannot leave final answers in improper fraction. This is improper because the numerator is larger than the denominator. And so I think to myself, how many groups of four fourths can I get out of five fourths? I can get one whole group, which gives me a whole number of one, and I have one fourth left over. All right, now what we are going to do is we are going to look at adding uh, mixed numbers. So here you can see I have a mixed number plus a fraction. I have a whole number of one, and I have a fraction of two six plus a fraction of three six. Our sum will be one and five six, and I'm gonna show you how I got that. So first of all, I wanna represent, these are um, my manipulas I'm gonna use. You can take construction paper and cut out um, your different fractional parts. You can use online manipulatives as well to help with this. So I have one and two six. And then remember, adding means I'm going to join. So I'm going to add on three six. So I'm going to add on one six, two six, three six. Okay? So when I join those together, I can now see that I have one and five six. And so my um, sum would be one and five six. One and five six cannot be simplified. Um, we do want our answers in uh in simplest form, but when I think of factors of five, I know that if I go back to my divisibility rules, I know that five only divides into numbers that end in a zero or a five, and so that will not work for six, so one in five, six is in simplest form. So let's look at one more model. This time we're gonna use fraction circles. We're gonna add one and two eighths plus one and seven eighths to give us a sum of three and one eighths. Okay, so this time we're adding a mixed number plus a mixed number. So you can see I have one and two eighths, and then I'm gonna add on seven eighths. So what I'm gonna do here is add it on my one whole, but I'm gonna go up top here and I'm gonna go ahead and add on my seven eighths. So that's one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, which gives me a whole, and then I have one eighth left over. So you can see I have that makes one whole right there. So I have three holes and one eighth, all right? And three and one eighth cannot be simplified either. The only factor of one is one. And um, if I divide one eighth by one, I will get one eighth again. So three and one eighth. So you can see how we have used models to add fractions greater than one with mixed numbers. You can use rectangles, you can use circles, you can go online and find you some math manipulatives. So now um, we're gonna let you try some on your own.